It has been struck by lightning, set on fire, relocated, and twice threatened with demolition. But the giant swing still stands tall and has for over 222 years. Yet still, even though the wooden monument is one of Bangkok's oldest and most recognizable symbols, very few people know its history. According to ancient Thai law, giant swings were to be built in every major city in the kingdom. Although there is no physical evidence of them, some scholars guess that there were giant swings in all important cities throughout Siam, including Sukhothai, Ayutthaya, and Nakhon Si Thammarat. So naturally, when Rama I built a new capital here in Bangkok, Brahmin priests advised him to immediately build a giant swing. On April 8, 1784, construction was completed on the giant swing. The original swing was 42 meters tall, nearly twice the height of the present swing. And in those days, it stood directly in front of the Brahmin chapels. It was later moved to its present location by King Rama V to make room for a tank to hold the kerosene used to light the Grand Palace. The giant swing ceremony originated in India. According to the legend, Following the creation of the earth, Brahma sent Shiva down to observe. Unsure that the earth would be solid enough to support his weight, he tied a giant sea serpent to the peaks of two mountains and taking hold, swung down from the heavens. After testing with one foot whether the ground was firm enough to support his weight, Shiva descended from his giant swing and took his first steps on the newly created world. The swing is a representation of the swing used by Shiva to descend to earth. The two pillars symbolize the mountain peaks while the circular base symbolizes earth and ocean. According to Brahmin belief, every new year Shiva and Vishnu revisit the earth to bless the fields and the crops of Sayam and for at least four centuries, Brahmin priests have been performing rites to greet them. Since this is a ceremony to thank the gods for good crops, the king often asked the Minister of Agriculture to organize the event and represent Shiva as the Lord of the Swing. The ceremony would start early in the morning with the Lord of the Swing putting on a special ceremonial robe, white hat and white cloak. Hundreds of Brahmin court astrologers would then carry him on a wooden plank around the walls of the city to Watsutat. When the parade reached the giant swing, the Lord of the Swing would then take a seat on a piece of bamboo, keeping his right foot on his left knee. He was to maintain this posture throughout the entire ceremony. Should he fail, he would forfeit his 80 baht payment for conducting the ceremony. During the ceremony, three teams of four men take turns on the swing. Three men in the middle would rock the swing back and forth, a fourth man, standing in the bow, would attempt to bite a bag of coins off a bamboo pole raised next to the swing. Many men lost their lives trying to snatch the bags which contained only 1 to 12 baht each. The swing ceremony was repeated in the morning and afternoon for two days every year. The swing ceremony was held for several more decades until it was cancelled in 1935. With the ceremony finally abolished, there were some in the city government that were determined to knock down the swing. But since it had already been registered as a historic site, only the Fine Arts Department could grant permission for its removal, which they refused to do. There were actually plans to revive the swinging ceremony itself in 1979, but nothing came of them. Today, the giant swing is protected as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Just north of the giant swing is Gotham Mall Square. When you are ready to hear more, go to number 11 on your player.